guns, gats, bang bangs, foldy boys, booms, booms, stainless steel, stick welding, sparks. Bro, subscribe. What up, y'all? Just uh, felt like practicing up on some TIG today, some stainless TIG. Got a little stainless steel dice right here I got off the internet just for uh, practicing, you know. I got the uh, titanium unlimited 200 multi-process welder. We're on um, 120 volt. It's plugged into an outlet on the outside here. Uh, doing some thin weld stainless. Got a 16th inch tungsten, 2% serrated tungsten. That's the gray tip, I believe. And the stainless is about a 16th as well. So figured I'd uh, let you guys know how it goes and, uh, in case you were interested in uh, purchasing the same machine for yourself, you can uh, see how it works. So I'll just put the uh, camera down and just kind of Solid machine, really love this machine. You get your stick, TIG, MIG option. I actually got my flux cord gun out, my little squirt gun on. I was doing some stuff the other day. This is my argon and all that whatnot. I'm gonna get my gas flow right under 20, between 15 and 20. This is a scratch start only machine. So you gotta kinda give her a, how do you do? Um, all right, I'm just gonna do my thing. You guys can make your own opinions. Filler metal as needed. Just under 20 is a, it seems to be a little much. I had to turn it down. Uh, 308L stainless steel. I think it's 332 on the filler. That's all I had. And then I'm just fusing it until I need filling metal. And then I'm hardly making any sparks. Me and my dad built this shed years ago. No, probably like 10 years ago ish.
Okay, guys, well, just finished up. Waiting for that stainless steel dice die, whatever you want to call it, to cool down. Can't recommend the Titanium Unlimited 200 enough. Multi-process, stick mig, TIG, and flux core. Um, you know, if you're looking for something for your house, I think that uh, you should definitely look into this. comes with a great set of instructions. It tells you how to set it up every process and um, gives you a great chart on amperage and where to start as far as your heat. Plugs right into regular 120 volt or comes with this adapter for 220. So, but you can, you'll be surprised how far taking thin metals um, gets you on 120. Never had a problem. Uh, this whole stainless dice didn't pull the breaker at all, so had no issues, have never hit the duty cycle. So definitely if you are looking for something for fun around the house or whatever, it's worth looking into. It's affordable too. It's not cheap, but it's definitely not expensive, expensive. So yeah, I just want to show you guys. Personally, I just keep this as my flux core machine because it's just so easy if I need to make something stick together real quick. But, had it for a couple of years now and uh, have really gotten a lot of use out of it. So, it's been a lot of fun. There's other videos on my page where I'm using this too if you want to check those out. great anybody could really pick this up and start making sparks so it's also just a great way to uh practice kind of hone your skills and kind of refine your craft making Stupid little gifts for people like stainless steel dice. Little does he know it, but this one's for my 10 year old son. And I hope he keeps it forever, I really do. But he'll probably be like, Dad, you didn't even put the parts like how a dice goes. It's all, it's all out of order. But in my opinion, that's what makes it amazing. It's like a stainless steel fuck you to society. But we'll see. Oh, and uh, if anybody's uh, interested in any stickers, I made these myself, so let me know. Send me a message or a comment or something. I'll gladly send you a handful. And as always, thank you for checking out my channel and watching these videos i truly enjoy so thanks again guys and if you like the video you like this kind of stuff subscribe if you wouldn't mind thanks Stuff, reviews, guns, gats, bang bangs, foldy boys, booms, booms, stainless steel, stick welding, sparks. Bro, subscribe.